JD here on another live, and uh, my uh, partner, from Sonny, I have to introduce her. <laughs> okay. I've got you, yeah. babe. No, 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 don't start singing, please. Um, <laughs> it'll be scarier if I start singing. Um, we've just come from a uh, real estate uh, seminar. I was asked to speak at uh, an LJ Hooker uh, real estate event in Brisbane. And, uh, of course, being the shy little devil that I am, uh, I promoted the fact that uh, we have a an appraisals juggernaut at the moment, uh, which is uh, very, very interesting. And um, I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But if you're a business owner and you're after leads and or conversions, and who isn't, then you might like to stick with me for uh, the next four hours. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to sit in this car for four hours. You are, Gal. <laughs> Because you will learn something. Oh, no. Okay, I've told you I am the owner of all wisdom. Not a little bit of wisdom, but all wisdom. Okay, so um, I'm only joking. We keep these under 10 minutes because then we can repurpose them to LinkedIn because LinkedIn does not take anything over 10 minutes, okay? So I can't rant and rave, but I'll cut to the chase. Um, we have a real estate agent uh, who bought into our holiday program. Uh, and the holiday program, you can find out details by clicking the link or below here. And he was after more listings because as a real estate agent would know, you cannot make any money unless you've got houses to sell, in other words, product, inventory, and they call those things listings. And what they generally do is put out little crummy, awful leaflets. I wish I could show one to you because we had a couple that I showed uh, very sarcastically to the real estate audience that I had today. And it's normally a, a big picture of their ugly face. And uh, it, don't get me wrong, there is the odd good looking real estate agent. I haven't seen too many. <laughs> okay. Well, at least in my letterbox, the real estate agents that put crap in my letterbox, they're all ugly. And I don't know what's happened there, but they got beaten up with the ugly stick in the hospital way back when they were born. But um, I'll, you, I'll get hate mail now. I was going to the people yeah. that are watching. No, 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 no. no nice I'm going to get, get hate mail because it's going to no, be, no. It'll, it'll be, oh, oh, yeah, you think you're, you think you're, you look okay. You're ugly, JD. Um, I'm joking. All right. It's amazing, the keyboard warriors on this thing, when you uh, have been gifted or cursed with sarcasm, it's amazing how many of these people will get on and give you a hard time. And you notice whenever I go through, before I delete their comment, uh, and look at their Facebook page, they always look like Santa Claus on a bike, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, most of the trolls out there are just, yeah, they look like, yeah, Santa Claus on a motorbike. Uh, anyway, uh, and that's the women. Uh, so anyway, 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 so the point is, is that I was asked to speak at this real estate conference and I thought, well, I'll show off today, this morning, because we've got a real estate agent who said to me, look, we need more appraisals because for every 10 appraisals that we get, I close four of them into a listing. And when I get a listing, I generally sell that property, which means I get about an average of $15,000 commission. Uh, I said, fine, okay. So we've given him our holiday program and how it works is that we're partnered with an international travel company that provides us with holidays in Bali and Phuket and Koh Samui and Fiji and all these wonderful places and it only costs $97 and before you sit there and go oh, it has to be a scam they've got to sit through a timeshare and all that sort of stuff no none of that what it is is that this company is very clever they've gone out to all of these holiday resorts in Fiji and Vanuatu and you know the Gold Coast and Sydney and Melbourne and Phuket and all these places and they've said to these uh, resorts uh, all Sorry, they've said to these uh, resorts, listen, you're running at 30% vacancy uh, because Airbnb has knocked the resort you know, industry mm -hmm. right. Instead of having those rooms like vacant, okay, instead of having those rooms vacant, then how about we fill them through promotional exercises and we sell them for whatever we sell them for, which of course is $97. And uh, you fill the rooms and you get money out of food and beverage. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's effectively what happens is that uh, the resort goes, okay, well, you know, it's going to cost me 10 or $12 to clean the room each morning, but nonetheless, we'll give the room away and we'll make money out of cafes and restaurants and massages and cocktails by the pool and room service and all the stuff that goes with mm -hmm. it. Uh, so it really is a win-win. It's a win for you as a business owner because you can now offer people a free holiday up to seven nights in Bali and Fiji and Vanuatu and the Gold Coast and all these wonderful places and it only costs you $97. Uh, the hotel wins because they're filling what would have been dead rooms uh, with people who are going to buy things at their cafes and restaurants uh, and of course your customer uh, wins because when they buy the refrigerator or whatever it might be from you, guess what? They've got they a free holiday. holiday. Yeah. Thank you for nodding. Yeah, thank yeah. It's nice to have a supportive wife every now and again. Um, so anyway, this real estate agent said to me yesterday, he was on the phone with me, and I can't use the F word, but you know what it was. He said, JD, this is a so-and-so money machine. <laughs> I'm trying to do his accent. He's a lovely guy, a bit of a larrikin like me, so we got on pretty well. I said, oh, okay. He said, look, I got this thing from you a couple of weeks ago, and I went to put out my leaflets, my flyers, to the letterbox you know, brochures to say, look, let me have an appraisal. Let me give you an appraisal of your home, and I'll give you a free holiday. And I said, okay. And he said, look, I couldn't put them out because of the rain. And he said, look, we only just put out a thousand or so yesterday. I got three appraisals this morning. 
Now, to get three appraisals from a thousand letterbox is like unheard of, okay? Normally, real estate agents will put out five or ten or fifteen thousand leaflets in the letterboxes with a picture of their ugly head. Uh, and we've got buyers in your area, we'd like to find out the values of homes, would you like to get a free appraisal? Now, all pretty boring. His one went out and basically it had a picture of Fiji or Bali and it said, listen, we know that, you know, we'll come if we come in and give you a free appraisal, we'll take up 60 minutes of your time. But we want to get uh, property valuations in the area because we've got people wanting to buy and we need to actually say to them, well, this is the sort of dollars that you'd look for in this area, this area, this area. We need to do appraisals. And if you allow us to spend 60 minutes and give you a free valuation of your home, then guess what? We'll give you a free holiday. And he only put out a thousand or so yesterday and he got three appraisals. He also said he got one listing. Mm -hmm. And in that one listing, he said uh, basically the person who was selling the house had three agents pitching for it. And he said, uh, not pitching, 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 pitching for it with a P. P yeah. And uh, he said, he just said to them, listen, if you make your mind up by five o'clock this afternoon, we'll give you a free holiday. Guess what? They signed on the spot. He said to me, JD, this thing is a so-and-so money machine, <laughs> okay? Uh, and I said, oh, well, that's fantastic. That's great. Um, he will go through the amount of holidays that he got from us, like probably within the next month, and uh, he'll be one of my long-term clients because he realises that this thing is a money machine. I don't want to say that too often because it sounds a bit wanky, but the thing is, is that you think about it. If you've got competitors, doesn't matter whether you're in the real estate game or not, if you've got competitors that, you know, you're selling a lounge suite or landscaping services or swimming pools or furniture or refrigerator, whatever it might be, and they are selling on price and you're selling on price, then it's a race to the bottom. Can you imagine if you're both about the same price let's say fifteen hundred dollars for a loud suite but you said look if you make up your mind by five o'clock today i'll give you a free uh, holiday up to seven nights in a luxury resort in these wonderful locations yeah. who do you think they're going to buy the yeah. loud suite on yeah. you got it um, if you are interested in this, because it has gone, I've never found anything so easy to sell. I mean, I keep on doing these Facebook Live. Every time we do a Facebook Live, we get probably two or three sales, don't yeah, we? I know. How would you it's like that cool. sort of predictability? Yeah, yeah. It's just that I haven't been involved in something before whereby, because they can't get this anywhere else, I can afford to be a bit arrogant. Um, and what we do with real estate agents, by the way, we say, look, if you want to buy this as an appraisal juggernaut, uh, then we will give you three months exclusivity for three postcodes. Okay, and the whole idea of that is that if they actually are doing it properly, they retain the license. If they're not doing it properly, we can give it to a real estate agent mm -hmm. across the road. So we've, we've put it together almost in a license scheme like that. But nonetheless, no matter what business you're in, whether you're selling, you know, uh, widgets or services, because we've got accountancy practices on, what, it, you can use it as a lead generator if you've got a big ticket line. So, for example, where, you know, for real estate agents, it makes sense to give it out for appraisals because they know for every 10 appraisals, which will cost them 10 times $97, they'll probably get three or four listings. Yeah. And each one of those listings is going to be worth 10 or 15 or 20 grand. You might be in the case of selling property, for example, and you want them to come to, you know, have a meeting with you about property investment, all that sort of stuff. You give it to them on a lead basis. So you say, look, book a 45 minute consultation with me and we'll give you a free holiday. And you would know your hit rate out of every 10 meetings that you have. You might sell two or three. You do that every day of the week. Okay. Uh, that's about it. I think that's it. You got anything to say, Gail? No, I think you've voiced it very uh, I've voiced elegant, it ve eloquently. Eloquently, yeah. No, eloquence, <laughs> eloquence. And, eloquence and I do not go together. I just <laughs> want to point that out to you, okay? Dad jokes, uh, corny uh, cliches. And uh, annoying sarcasm, that's, that's me. Very okay, sarcastic. Yeah. Anyway, if you uh, are interested in this, and you should be, if you're mm. a business owner and you're looking for leads, who isn't? Um, and are done for you. And are done for you. By the way, we give you the whole box and dice. What comes with this program is Facebook ad management for a, uh, a month. Okay, so therefore we provide that to, to you, and uh, basically, we, why? Because we don't trust you. Okay, so we'll help you do the Facebook, you know, properly. Okay, I'll leave that with you. Click the link above or below. If you're interested, you can talk to someone. All the best. Bye.